looks wet. So thanks to Diana, she's letting me borrow her jet boil and drink some of this. Organic, smooth move because I've had zero bowel movements and I need a nice smooth move if you know what I'm saying. Yeah, I really need to poop. Cheers. Mm. Tastes like lavender tea with couscous. So that was our campsite last night. Pretty scenic and beautiful. It's extremely hot already and it's like 9 a.m. Woo! We left camp and we are now starting a exactly 2.5 mile climb to the top of Dick's Pass. So it's gonna be a brutal morning because it's hot and it's just climbing. But after Dick's Pass, we have just a really like awesome day of downhill and we're only doing 10 miles today because we're getting to Lake Aloha. We're pretty sore and Diana did not sleep well last night. Now it was her turn because she heard all these animals coming to our tents and she couldn't sleep. That was me um, the night before that. We're doing okay. Um, I drank my smooth move tea so hopefully that works and I can feel a little bit better. But yeah, it's gonna be a beautiful day. And if you haven't seen Lake Aloha, I would highly recommend waiting to the end of this video. Lake Aloha was one of my favorite places to camp on the Pacific Crest Trail. It was just absolutely stunning and beautiful. And unlike any lake I had ever really seen before. So you're gonna wanna see some beautiful shots of it later. So stay tuned because it's just one of those places where I could probably live forever. So I'm really excited about that and I'm excited for Diana to see it for the first time. Now it's time to climb this two and a half mile uphill. Woo, I can do this. This nice little pond right here. It's so quiet out here. Except for me talking. <laughs> Hello lizard. Do your push-ups. Let's do your push-ups. Okay, bye. So that's Lake Tahoe. Got a little trail blockage. So I'm gonna go around. Looks like other people did this as well. Whew. And back down to the trail.
This is hard. Oh! This is pretty hard climb, <laughs> but we're almost there. <sighs> Made it. Ah, yes. This is just so beautiful. such a nice break. Got to call Owen, my husband, and I got to talk to my dad because he's meeting us tomorrow at Echo Chalet to resupply us. Text my mom and my sister and just checked in and we ate some food and we're about to, you know, head down the other side of the pass. So that was just fantastic. Found some shade and just took a break and it's just, it's just so refreshing. It's just incredible. <laughs> So we just came down here, some pretty wildflowers. You come down, there's a lot of this rock, and you look up and you get this epic view. This kind of trail can be really hard on the feet. I always seem to get, or I always seem to step on rocks that just puncture the arch of my foot. So you have to be really careful so you don't roll your ankle. This is beautiful. This is the beautiful Lake Aloha, and I think we hike along it for 1.4 miles, so it's pretty big. All right, we walk down to the lake because Diana and I are gonna get in. It's 6.45 p.m. and cold, so we gotta do it fast. 
We're gonna do it really fast. Really fast, okay. All right, here we go. It's <laughs> not bad, it's not bad. <laughs> We're freezing our chest. Like literally, what if my tit floated away like you saw the titty? <laughs> Okay. I would honestly get your shoulders in there because you have dirt and mosquito bites. Okay. I would just clean your shoulders. So they're bad on my back. I can feel them, but I couldn't see them. They're very bad. These are all freaking mosquito bites. I don't understand why she has a thousand and Diana has zero. I don't, I don't understand Starburst. But it's pretty remarkable. <laughs> it's pretty bad. What's up? <laughs> yeah, they're just all over me. Yep. That one is like open wound. Same over here. All over my knees. And behind my legs. Well, I can't see. Get the shade. There we go. Yep. But I did clean my legs off. So, at least be proud of me for that. So, every night Diana builds <laughs> whatever this is. It's like a wood log rock creation <laughs> formation. Because she feels like this is where her head's going to be. And she wants this behind her head, so if a bear comes through, it's gonna make noise. Well, it's like it's like I was telling Jen, like when you're a child and you go under the covers to hide from the demons, the covers are not gonna protect you from the demons. So you know, but it's like the security. And so I know a bear can get through my 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 wall, but I guess it's more of the security of like it'll just make it a little bit more difficult. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you know. I'm sure the bear will find this very difficult after it just climbed that hundred foot tree, but okay So anyway, this is our you can't really see but this is our campsite for the night There's my tent and this is the same exact spot that I camped on uh, when I hiked the PCT So just a lot of good memories There it is. You can't really you can't see me, but this is me saying goodnight because it's past our bedtime. I took a Benadryl because you saw all those bites. My back is on fire right now, but um, hopefully the Benadryl kicks in. And um, I don't even know that they're there. Tomorrow, Echo Chalet meeting my dad for a resupply. Very excited about a cold Gatorade. And hopefully um, a lemonade for Diana. I'm dreaming about it. Dreaming about Every it. Every night. Um, and a little update. Uh, still no poop, so... Pray for poop. Pray for poop. Good night. Wait, oh, can I oh. please tell? Oh. For dinner, she had cheese. Let's just be very clear about this. She ate cheese for dinner. That could be contributing to my problem, but you know, we're not for sure. So, pray for poop. Good night. In the night